I have wanted one of these for so long. Pashley Sovereign. Here we go. I haven't bought it new. I really can't afford it either one. I managed to pick it second hand, pick it up second hand in a shop for a sensible money. Got the uh, Brooks B33 steel boys, uh, light front and rear. It's got the uh, old fashioned rack and stand and the uh, coat guide. Also got a Dutch lock and the key. Pretty standard. One or two things that I need to do. Um, the only thing really wrong with it as such is, I don't know if you can see it there, but there's a, a glorious dent there. Looks like it's been uh, dropped or mishandled on the bike stand or something, you know, someone's been working on it. Um, I'll get some sort of sticker over that, hide it. Five speed hub. I've had to adjust it. Every bike I get, I need to adjust the gears. Um, reasonably straightforward as well. Just similar to a three speed, you get it to where it's at the end in second. Um, there's a little helpful yellow mark on the um, on the pull rod rather than bush rod. Um, yeah, so <laughs> all good. So that's working well. The brakes are drum. They could probably do a clean inside, but a little bit dusty. The brakes haven't, brakes haven't bedded in properly. One or two little dents on the uh, on the mud guards. I can straighten those out. Um, what I need to do is get a bulb for the light. There's no bulb in it, so I need to get the right bulb. And down here, I'll zoom in a bit the connector you might just about be able to see. It's got bare wires so I need to screw a connector onto that um, and get it attached. And then I'll have dynamo front battery rear. But yeah it's all uh, all good. It's such a long time that I've been wanting one of these. It rides really well. Very comfortable. I'm going to have to raise the bars a bit because they get in the way of my knees when I'm turning. Um, so I'll see how far the stem comes up. If not, I'll get some bars that are slightly, slightly wider alloy bars, and with a bit more, a bit more of a rise on them. Shifter all works fine. I've lubricated the cable. It all seems to go into gear. Now got it adjusted properly. All seems to go into gear where it's supposed to. Struggled a bit on the way home, riding it home. But, uh, spot on now. Just needs a bit of a deep clean under wax polish and it'll look like new almost, apart from that dent. Uh, the tyres are probably the originals. Um, Schwalbe Marathon Plus. So over and above the ordinary marathons you've got more uh, more puncture resistance and there's not not much wear on those as you can see quite a bit of flex in the frame uh, noticeable when riding um, that makes it that's what makes it comfortable really is a joy to ride really rack bangs about a bit over some deep bumps but yeah On a lesser bike, I could be jolting my spine on it. <laughs> but, uh, with that seat, no chance of that. That is supremely comfortable. Comfier than my settee inside the house. I'll have to get one of them to sit on while I'm watching telly. <laughs> there you have it. something I've really wanted. Um, downside is I'm going to have to get rid of one or two other bikes and uh, other stuff in the garage to make room really. I've got far too much now so possibly the real classic, maybe even the doors are going to have to go. I'm going to keep the other Pashley and make, a, make that a bit more Path Racer-esque. Um, but that's my, uh, my main steed now. Uh, 
Oh, just spotted something else. I'll have to let the tyre down and get that straight, it's going to bug me. Um, <laughs> that's going to really irritate me, things like that do. Yeah, it's a lovely bike. I'm chuffed with it and I'm chuffed with what I paid for it. It's my little treat to myself. I sold some camera gear um, just to uh, get a bit more money to keep me going. And I got a bit of tax back as well from being made redundant. So, yeah, that's. Uh, well, it's not even covered the tax back, you know, it's, it's less than half that. So, brilliant. Yeah, happy with that.